Here is a question from JE Advanced 2024 paper 2 based on graphs. There are two triangular frames. The lower frame which has magnetic field inside it is fixed and the upper inverted frame is moving through it. And there are four options for induced EMF as the triangular loop moves through the fixed magnetic field. So let me tell you sometimes the questions based on graph may be tricky in JE advanced. They are not hard but you need to be careful. All the graphs have same initial point as we can see over here. The end points are different and so are intermediate points in few of the graphs. So we will be analyzing point number one for intermediate and final points. I will be explaining it in detail so that uh, there is something to learn also otherwise the answer could be found in seconds. First look at the situation. See the upper triangular loop pierces through the triangular magnetic field region. So it is obvious that there will be induced EMF which is variable and which is shown in all the graphs. Look at option 4 from point number 3 of the graphs which I have taught. Uh, there should not be a reason for a break in the graph over here because at intermediate point the upper triangular loop had just started to come out its tip has just started to come out of the magnetic field so that does not warrant a big change suddenly EMF should not vanish because already there is some intermediate point or intermediate length of the moving triangular loop in the magnetic field hence option 4 is incorrect. Now look at the final diagram when the base of the upper triangular loop is exiting the magnetic field. So there is an EMF till the last moment because the longer base is crossing through the magnetic field region. So my final mag uh, electromagnetic induced EMF cannot be zero. It should be something. So that's why option 3 is also wrong. Now we are left with A and B. In intermediate situation we had just the half length of the moving loop inside the magnetic field that is the effective length whereas when it is exiting it has the complete base which is inside the magnetic field and is exiting. So obviously the magnitude of induced EMF at intermediate point and at end point should not be same. Therefore option 2 is wrong and they, hence we are left only with one option, option A which is correct answer. For more such common sense ways to solve tricky questions in GNEET and G Advance, follow Synergy classes. Like and subscribe.